Hello there everyone, this is Iron Mark 3 and welcome to back to my factorying factory on Factorio, which is maybe involving factories. <laughs> to be honest, if you've been watching and you've not got that this involves a factory so far, I'm, um, I'm questioning if you've been watching the right video or not. But yeah, I think you get the gist there. Oh, I forgot to pick up the chemical plants. Whoopsie. Right. This particular video, I plan to continue with my dedicated work, trying to get things working, you know, after a fashion. It, actually, no, 10 is not going to be enough, is it? Actually, I'm carrying 13, that might be enough. I can... eh. Oh, whatever, I'll just grab another stack. Chemical plants. Let's just grab a stack of chemical plants. It sounds kind of ridiculous when you say it like that, but, you know, whatever. The other thing I wanted to do was these electric furnaces. Hmm. I've got the stone brick here, I've got the plastic, I've got the steel. Yes, that is what I was collecting everything for, wasn't it? To get electric furnaces up and going. What's blown up? An inserter down here. Hmm, fair enough. Anyway, to get electric furnaces, I need to actually start putting down factories. Might help a little bit. Where is what I need? You know what? Let's just build this factory chain actually over here instead. I was bringing it around here, but now I want to actually put battery production in this area. So I'm just going to bring this along like this. Got all that wonderful plastic spread out all over the place. And I don't actually need this section of resources, I don't think. So I can actually pull this all up. Yeah, now this is very efficient of me, isn't it? I just put down these conveyors and then a few videos later I pull them straight back up again. Yeah, it's how I do it. It's how I roll. It's cool and you will love and adore me for it. So you don't get a say in the matter. Let's see. It's also refilling my inventory a little bit. Though it is getting clogged up again. So, <laughs> there is that. Come on. Yep, there we go. That's all of it. So I'll just pull all of the steel in off it. And that, there we go. That's the line reversed effectively. With no time wasted whatsoever. Of course. Now then, let's see. To make these I need well first off I need um, steel and stone brick that's those two okay actually why am I doing it like this I might as well just connect them like so All right, that's steel stone brick Pipeline going into a factory which will be here. I need a bunch of blue inserters actually now that I think about it. This place will be producing the actual furnaces, so that will just be set to produce that. Okay. And of course it'll load in there. Now, what does it need directly? It needs directly advanced circuits. So next up, advanced circuit production. Plastic, copper, Okay, this is where the plastic gets involved. Actually, that needs... Um, ooh, actually, that's that's a chance for cutting things down a little bit. Yes, yes, let's do that. This one needs to feed plastic directly into it, so I'll just put one there. And I'll give it a little dip of a tunnel here. So that'll go underneath it. And a blue inserter there to load up the plastic it requires. And that one will just load the circuit straight into the furnace production. Yeah, th this'll work fine. 
you make advanced circuits. Now, for that, you need copper wire and regular circuits. Which means I need another factory here to produce the regular circuits. Yes, this is going well. Regular circuits is just copper wire again. And then I can just go ahead and do it like that. <laughs> yes, this'll do it. Again with the all important tearing up supply lines and stuff. But this time it's because I'm putting in red so that these can be supplied with copper. Without me having to rearrange the entire section. Yes, that'll do it. And this needs to be supplied directly by iron. Again, that's not an issue. So let's go ahead and just peel off... Oh, oh technology. Where would I be without you? Technology, let's see. I want to get... Let's grab explosives, actually. There we go. Just going to peel a line off the steel mill here. And lead straight there. And that'll load there. Yes, this'll, this'll do fine. Loads. Need another two blues. Darn it. I thought I had enough, but I did not. So, as you can see, I've got a few factories running here, which will supply copper onto this line here. Which will then feed around and get it to the both factories which require it. Like that. Now my base is not falling apart, so that is fine. I was just very quickly checking the map to be sure that I was not yet, you know, dead. <laughs> I'm not, so that's fine. One there, one there. Yep, that's fine. And I just need to connect to a nearby power source. That's stupid. I could have put one there. There we go. And ta-da! I have all the facilities required to make electric furnaces on automatic. Minus a couple, which I shall now install before I forget about it again. Because there's not much point if it's not going to unload it, is it? So I'm just going to put in a chest to hold the finished furnaces. I'll set it to three stacks, yeah. Is that running? Yes. Is that running? Yes. Actually, how many electrics does it... <laughs> Oh, it needs a whole ton of advanced. Hmm. Actually, this this isn't so well thought out, is it? What I need is... Like that. Yes, pull up that, pull up that. Because the thing is that the advanced circuit production is incredibly slow. Ooh, automated construction. Great, I've been wanting that for a while. So what I need is to get one that it will drop um, electronic circuits down like that. Yes, that's, that seems okay. Thank you for the autosave. Put that there. Like that. And that one will produce my electric circuits for me. As you can see, advanced circuits at 8 seconds, while that does not take anything like as long. So that's why I'm just tearing things down right now. <laughs> Darn it. Okay. My inventory is completely and utterly clogged. So that means I need to find somewhere to dump some stuff and stat. I can dump my iron ore straight into these furnaces since it's not working properly. Um, copper ore, I'll just dump into these furnaces as well. And I can see my entire system here is not working as well as I would like. I'll dump the coal in here as well while I'm at it. Just get rid of that. I'm carrying a bunch of raw stone, which I need. I'm carrying some burner drills, which I don't need. What's blowing up a turret down here? Yeah, that bit seems to blow up quite a lot. Let's dump those drills, dump those combustors. Uh, do I need to dump anything else? No, I want to hang on to that steel axe. All the... Yeah, there we go. All the relics. And that's it. Now I can tear down my line properly. I can tear down my line I just built. Woo! I am such an efficient builder. <laughs> Hail me. Hail me, because I requires it. 
but really it's because I'm realising that I've not really done a good job with this. Oh well, always room for more plastic in my inventory, I suppose. Let me see now. Now then, I want to get um, this tunnel as far as it can go, so like that. And I'll make the sideline there. So I can... Hang on, am I doing this? No, I'm doing this wrong. Fag. Right, the sideline needs to be, because it's going into advanced circuits, sorry, electric furnaces, it needs to be stone and steel. These two. So I shall make it to be there. Yep, that sounds fine. And then I'll run the plastic underneath it like that. Why am I doing it like this? Because then I can use a couple more factories. Like so. I need a line running here. And this is where the plastic will be. Yeah, like that. This gets the plastic to the electronics, the advanced uh, circuit production line. It's three, so it's not going to run anything like full speed, something like that. But it'll run fast enough for what I want of it. And that's what I'm concerned with right now. So let's see, that'll load plastic and electronic circuits, and it'll load copper. And it'll run like that. Loading side will be there, there and there. That's fine. Uh, where's the... Yeah, that's power pole. Like that. Okay. And as you can see, this one's just dropping the plastic, the um, regular circuits down to get made straight onto... Well, made straight into those as soon as I get plastic into them as well. Which will happen from here. And then I want... The furnace doesn't require that. No, it doesn't. No, wait, I don't need to... What am I... What am I doing? Actually, I should just go ahead and make that... No, that's not right. I want to double-purpose this particular line, actually. So that means I need to get plastic onto that side of it. Like so. So that it can be loaded from those. And then I want to get the inserters going the other way like this yeah that, that looks good if it'll fit around the power pole I hope it will hopefully it will single power pole if I move one piece like that there we go and then it'll dump the advanced circuits onto the other side and the entire thing comes to an end there then I just need the secondary line here, which is the one that's going to carry all of that stuff. Hey, from automated construction. And that should let me do some blueprints later, if I can. But what should I do now? Uh, Landmines, that might be important. Just a little bit. But yeah, this is where my finished factory is going to go. This is the factory that's going to make all of the actual things. So I find them. I keep losing them in the build list. Why do I keep losing them in the build list? There they are. Fine. And I just need a pair of blues and a single yellow, which I seem to have built over again. Uh, I keep running out of these flipping things. I've got to actually go ahead and make some. Make a production line for these guys, because I do need them. A production line for these would also be a good idea. Oh, that was fast. Advanced landmines, that's one that I've got in a mod, but it's, it's too expensive right now. I want to get to tanks, because I've been looking at the map and I've been getting quite worried about things. For that, I need flower balls down here. Why have I been looking at the map? This is what I've been seeing, all of this red. It's, it's spreading like a plague, really. Hmm. A secondary input's probably a good idea. Because it's not loading fast enough on that particular line. Because it's got two resource types coming in on that. So let's go ahead and do that. Just need to find my... There they are. Run around here. 
And there we go. I am producing my first electric furnaces as fast as these three factories can handle it. And I'm just about okay for power production as well, so that's great. <laughs> hey, I'm doing stuff. Huzzah. While I'm over here, actually, let's quickly put down this pump jack I made, like that. And lay some pipe work just around here. Though it might actually be prudent to have the coal line take a little dip there, just to get the pipes through. And then that connects straight into the oil line. So there we go. Extra pump, extra oil, though I don't exactly need it. Let's see, how's my oil doing? Almost full. So yeah, that single pump jack's keeping up with my needs quite, quite nicely. Uh, nothing's actually ground to a halt yet either. It's just producing plastic right now. Now then, let's see. Can I fit? Yes, I can. Pop that on there. This next line is going to be full of chemical plants, and it's going to be making sulfur. Essentially, that is water plus petroleum gas to make sulfur. And then sulfuric acid is sulfur plus water plus stuff. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be my battery production chain. Thermables. Okay, what was next? Next up was rocketry. Yeah, give me rocket launchers, please. Thank you. I'm going to bring this line all the way down to here. Now, how will the connections line up to make sulfur right gas on top water on the bottom fair enough that is yep that's all it needs that's fine so I'll just need to get the pipes worked worked out And it's going to be... That's This is why I actually carried a bunch of stacks of um, these pipes. Because I'm just going to run it all the way down like this. It's nothing fancy, it's just going to be like that. And then I'm going to have these underground pipes here. Just to connect it to the lines for the petroleum gas. Should I bother? No. Let's just build a straight pipeline here as well. Like that. Hey, okay, perfect. Uh, oh dear. A bunch of turrets down south has blown up. That's not good. Let's put that there. Put that one here. And then it's just straight pipe connections. But if part of my defences are going down, I actually need to go and check on that, unfortunately. But um, the episode will be ending in a couple of minutes, so I think I'll get this stuff powered up. And then I'll go do that. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. And now I just need a bunch of reds. How many have we got there? Five of those. How fast is it to make sulfur? One second. Sulfuric acid. One second. Though I do need an iron plate input line as well. Hmm. Oh, that's okay. I just need a bunch of reds. Yeah, a bunch of reds will do it. Oh, more turrets are blowing up. <laughs> I've got to do something about this, actually. Like that. Then I just need to get the water line through. Like that. All connected up. And you guys will make for me sulfuric acid. Vital step in getting batteries. But the, the number of alarms is increasing quite rapidly, so I do need to go and actually look at things now, I'm afraid. So, yeah. Ooh, flamethrowers. Sure, why not? <laughs> this is I Mark III. Thanks for watching. I just need to go and make sure my base doesn't collapse on me, which would be nice. And I'll catch you in the next video. Ooh, I should upgrade my armor while I'm at it. But yeah, I'll see you later.